Surveys of the land allow important knowledge to be gained about Australia's native species. Not only what is there, but factors such as abundance, distribution and impacts on the area. This study was performed in the Helenon Hills, which is approximately 35,000 hectares and is located in the Lockyer Valley of South East Queensland. It is important for these surveys to be repeated to try and perfect the process. This means that future experiments can be helped by past studies. Factors such as human error, bias reporting and weather conditions can influence what results are produced. The aim of this study was to find distribution and abundance of native species in the varying vegetation types of the Helen. Five study sites were Burkett, Hagedorn, Falmer, Ergon West and Ergon East. Shown is a schematic diagram of Ergon West showing the locations of the traps. Over three days of trapping, four different techniques were used. Soil plots, Elliot traps, pitfall traps and cage traps were evenly spread over the five sites. Each site contained 15 pitfalls, 8 cage traps and 80 Elliot traps. The soil plots were subject to human error by only three sites having 10 stations, with the other two only having six. From the three trapping days, there were 45 individuals caught from 12 different species. There were also 73 traps recorded on the soil plots of 19 different types of animals. Predator avoidance techniques can be found from the soil plots and display other species that were in the area that were unable, unable to be caught. Shown in the cage trap data, there is a direct correlation between the human impacts on the area to whether individuals were caught or not. The, the study sites of Burkett, Hagedorn and Valmier all caught multiple individuals in their cage traps, totaling seven Trichosaurus vulpecula and one Varanus varius. The last two sites, Ergon West and East, did not catch anything, anything. The difference in species capture can be narrowed down to the logging frequency, fire intensity and differing times of trapping. Through the vegetation surveys, it was displayed that the densest site was Burkett, with a mean ground vegetation cover of 70% on its pitfall lines. The dense area also contained the most diverse species population. It contained four different species, including mammal, amphibian, and reptile, while the others only displayed. Limited amount of days per trapping reduces the extent of data that can be collected. Although there are only three trap sites, there are still some comparisons that can start to be seen in the data, such as species abundance in dense vegetation and the effects that logging and fire intensity can have on the environment. Extended trapping and continual surveying of the area would be recommended to get true results.